today. And today's video is just going to be a little bit of, you know, chit chat updates and some run footage. So today is the 26th day after Christmas. Um, been busy all day and, you know, it was great. I didn't have to go to work and I've gotten an awful lot of stuff done. Um, RC wise, very little, but <laughs> um, everything I knocked out today is going to allow me to get to more RC stuff later on in the week. Um, so what I did today was I actually built the stand, the rolling stand for the Christmas gift I got, the Creality Falcon 2 laser cutter that my wife gave me. And I'll put some pictures up here while I'm talking. But basically what I wanted to do was make it a rollable little cart where everything could stay on the cart and the exhaust fume extractor hood um, could be easily taken off if I want to, but can be on there kind of permanently and protect the laser cutter. Plus it is sucking all the fumes and smoke and everything out. So I actually have the hood. So the front folds up and then it folds back again. So I can get in there, do stuff I need to do on it. Easy peasy. So if I need to take it off for any reason, it's just a couple screws and everything just pops right off. Just unplug a few wires, everything pops right off and we're good to go. Um, so try to make it as, you know, forward thinking as I could to make sure that, you know, I was able to do everything I wanted to do with it. Now, if for some reason, you know, I get the rotary attachment and I need to raise it up some, I'll just take the hood off and, and you know, live with it at that point. But with the quick test, everything is working well. Um, you know, the little fold out shelf area is perfect. Um, it has little support arms that lock into place so I can fold it up, lock it into place, put my laptop up there, do the th stuff I need to do and, you know, just fold it up. And you notice when the door is closed, there's a gap in the front about two inches tall and that is allowing air to get in and s kind of get sucked across the cut bed um, of the cutter. So it's basically just drawing in a breeze and then getting rid of all that smoke and then blowing it outside of the garage. But anyway, enough about that. Um, so that's done. Uh, all I got to do is work on, you know, making stuff with it. But, you know, that's done. So now I have more time for RC. And I know you guys are dying to know what did I get for Christmas RC related. And I only got one. And it was ready to run. And it's an old one. Well, I mean, not old, but, you know, it's, I think this came out three years ago. And I've always liked it. I've always thought it was cool. Um, I've seen them run. They're nutty. And, you know, it's just, it's a cool looking van. And I'm not disappointed at all. Um, this thing is like... A lunchbox on steroids you know it's it puts a smile on your face just as quick and all it wants to do is just squat down and haul ass <laughs> it's just it is fun um, the wheelie bar is a necessity because any amount of full throttle or anything close to full throttle it's coming up on the wheels but it is so low slung and you know got the nice wide stance to it that you know the tires aren't gripping up it just kind of drifts and slides and you know kind of loops around um, and doesn't really roll over a lot. Yeah, it does roll over, but you know, anything 2S brushless um, that is gonna be punchy and nutty probably is. Um, it's got a few little minor dings. I didn't put the little spoilery thing on the back and I didn't add any extra stickers. I just like it the way it is. Um, I love this, you know, it's like an electric candy red paint. Um, now I did take off the mirrors Right away so the mirrors are sitting over here um, ready to go back on it when i get it all cleaned up and it's ready to go back on the shelf um, but for now i'm going to take it out um, in a couple days and run it again uh, so no point in putting mirrors back on there and everybody that's run them has basically snapped off the mirrors right away so i knew there was no point in doing it this is an absolutely gorgeous van i love the the hard plastic bits you know i'm debating on putting lights in it you know, it doesn't need lights, it's a basher, but you know, it's got provisions for headlight, taillight and all that stuff. So maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But this one was a lot of fun. And at the end of the video, you guys will see this romping around. Um, I have my stepson over here and future stepson um, who were out playing with their toys that I got them. I got them SCX24, um, the little honchos they had them on sale so i got them both one of those we had a, went out there had a blast they ran their scx 24s around i took out the trx 4m 
and ran that and we didn't get any video of that that was just us goofing around uh rolling into rolling down hills and smashing into each other playing around uh we did get video of this and they were also taking turns playing with the um the gorgon i took that out and uh let them run that around and you know they they had a blast with that too um so you'll see that video you'll see those clips here in the end so one other thing i did was i was able to get the hobby wing uh brushless esc in here um uh be able to, i don't know what it is i'll put it down here i can't remember the 18 character name for it but it was a, a snug little fit with uh, kind of cramming all the extra wiring in there, but I was able to get it in there. And the one thing I did like was it has a very long power lead on there. So I was able, able, yeah, yeah. So I was able to actually zip tie the power lead to the battery strap. And, you know, it still has plenty of room to get out of the way. And, you know, that'll keep it from getting around that drive shaft. So that was, that was a nice little feature. It's about twice as long as most... Um, ESCs that I've gotten so we will get this out soon but I was able to get that soldered up and get that uh, ready to go uh, tested it just on the bench um, it doesn't seem to have that like bleh, takeoff that it had it was a very like soft punch slow delay and this is just stock settings on this one so it seemed to have resolved that still not terribly fast um, but you know, we'll see how it goes out on the track, but it definitely has taken away that kind of slow, boggy um, startup. So hopefully that'll be better on the track. Now I did get a couple of other things in, if you guys haven't seen. So I actually got this guy in the other day uh, before Christmas. And the only thing I had time to do with it was take it out of the box and wipe all the dirt off of it. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is a little Radio Shack um, RC that came out, I don't remember exactly when, but it's called the Brum. And evidently this is off of a British TV show for kids. Um, all I know is it's basically kind of like a chitty chitty bang bang car where it's, you know, kind of alive and evidently talks to the kids and all that stuff and they go on adventures. I don't know. Um, I've never seen it, but I bought the, the RC to potentially put on a, uh, another body. But now that I've got it, it's kind of too cool to do that with. So what I need to do <clears throat> is I need to get in here and um, clean up the blue and greenish uh, corroded battery terminals and get a battery in the controller. Controller's fine. The battery terminals in the car are terrible. So get some batteries in there, test, see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we'll look and probably gut it and <clears throat> put some modern electronics in there and just use it as a little fun runner. I don't, I, I'm gonna have a hard time taking the body off of this and putting on something else. One, I don't know what else it would fit well, um, but it's just, it's a cool looking little car. So I, it may just live life as Brum and be the Radio Shack car. It was, <laughs> it started out life as. And speaking of Radio Shack, I just got one in today that I got a heck of a deal on. This is the Radio Shack little semi truck. Now, this is not going to do anything spectacular. <laughs> um, but I got it because it is in like brand new condition. Um, you know, it's a little hard plastic trailer hard plastic truck um very simple remote you know it's i think it's a one button remote yeah it's just a one button remote um comes with little uh, traffic cones so you can hit those with the truck i'm sure turning around them is going to be next to impossible properly but you know it was just a cool little truck um i saw it it was a great price i think it sold for 17 dollars plus you know i think $10, $12 shipping or something like that. So I couldn't pass that up. So this one will probably just kind of hang out in the box. Um, you know, just be part of the collection. I don't see me, I'm not gonna do any of the mods to it. I'm not gonna do anything to it. I don't even know if I'm gonna put batteries in there and try to run it. Maybe I will, I don't know. But literally this just showed up. <laughs> okay, I just read the box. So it says, you know, radio control, tractor trailer truck, turns in any direction. Remote control unit turns the silver horn on the top to left, right, forward, or reverse, and the truck turns in the direction the horn is pointing. So I'm assuming what that means is if you want to make a left turn, you have to turn the horn to the left, 
and hit the button on the remote and it's going to drive to the left. And then if you want to go straight, you're going to have to turn the horn straight and then, you know, forward, you point it forwards, reverse, you point it in reverse. So I don't, like I said, it's a one button controller. So I'm assuming the horn is what's going to do all the controls. Again, I don't know. I'm going to have to play with it to see what happens. But it's a cool little Mercedes, um, you know, cab over. And I just love the, you know, Radio Shack branding on it. So I had to pick that one up. So anyway, guys, that is it for me right now. Um, gonna have a, had a whole lot of stuff to get to this week. I got to paint the um, body for the uh, squish van. I've got to finish a body for a friend. Um, and then, you know, start other stuff. So the content keeps coming. <laughs> There's so much stuff to do. Um, one thing I do need to do, and I need to give a huge shout out to Craig um, from OAG RC. Um, Craig actually volunteered to help get the uh, fastest lap board up to date. So I sent him pictures of what I had on the board and he has actually gone through and looked at the old videos and picked out the fastest lap of those videos that I didn't have on the board and has sent me the list of those. So I need to quit dragging my feet and actually sit down and get that board updated. So thank you very much, Craig. I appreciate the help, the offer for the help and the help. Um, you know, that was above and beyond and I really, really appreciate it because I just lost interest in even trying to keep up with it. So, you know, thanks for putting the foot in my butt. And uh, I'll get that updated soon. Uh, so I just got to basically sit down and, uh, you know, add in the ones I don't have and get it reorganized. And that'll be up on a, an upcoming update. Anyway, guys, I've rambled on enough. I'm sure you guys want to see the Mad Van out running. So I'm going to shut up. Everybody out there, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe. And I will catch you on the next one. Enjoy the run footage. See you guys. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that violence of a takeoff. <laughs> Where are you? Toes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I was like, let me not move. Wham! <laughs> Should have moved. My depth perception is not the best at it. Ooh. This is not easy. You wanna try? Yeah, let me see. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm not good at this. A little too big for my bridges. Hold on, let me bump you. Come on, back up. Now we got two turtles. <laughs> Oh <laughs> it's a bang. Bang. <laughs> Ooh, power spin. Ha, ha, ha. 